Hello everyone and welcome. So today we are around five minutes away from Dover. Um, so I'm currently just waiting for Ellie to get ready and then we are going to be heading to possibly one of the most iconic landmarks in all of England, which is the White Cliffs of Dover. And then we're going to head into Dover itself and see what we can see there. So enjoy. So here we are now on our 20 minute or so walk from our campsite to the South Fallen Lighthouse, which is known as one of the best viewpoints of the White Cliffs of Dover. And just on our way now, we have just passed this, which is an old magazine store. This area is littered with magazine stores for like gun placements. They are absolutely everywhere and it's just really interesting. There's so much history in this area. And one thing that I don't think too many people know about is the area underneath uh, where we're standing right now is actually full of tunnels which lead from Dover Castle all underneath and behind the White Cliffs of Dover. Unfortunately, they are closed right now because at the time of filming this, it is currently around a week before Christmas. But if they are open and you're here, I think it's something that definitely looks really, really interesting. Here we are now atop the White Cliffs. We've seen glimpses of uh, the chalk sort of sticking out of the ground on the way to the cliffs. It's funny because it's one of those such iconic landmarks. You see it so many times in, you know, films, documentaries, everything like that. But you only really get the full scale of it when you're actually standing on the top of them and uh, just how massive it is. So now we're going to continue to walk across the cliffs to Dover itself and uh, see what else we can see. So there are also gun placements all along the cliffs as well. We can actually see the remains of one here that was here and is no longer here. That's because the White Cliffs are essentially in danger of just becoming non-existent because of the corrosion that's happening constantly. All over. Well, that would be really bad, especially wearing white. So you can see here first-hand evidence of, you know, the, the way that these cliffs are just falling away. I don't know if you can see down there, probably not, but that goes down further than I can see, and this crack leads all the way up to the edge. So here we are now at the end of our hike. That over there is Dover. Down here, uh, just next to me, is Langdon Bay, which is actually home to one of the few shipwrecks that you can see from the White Cliffs of Dover. The SS Falcon is just down there. It is covered up by the sea because the tide is in at the moment. We may come back uh, when the tide's out if we have time because it'd be really great to see the ship in more detail. You want Ellie? 245 it would be. That's when the tide's out? Yeah. <laughs> you want to walk? We're gonna walk down those steps. There's stairs? I don't see the stairs. It's a ramp, it's like a big flag. Well, we can only really start and see where we go. We don't have to make it all the way down, but I just wanna see the boat. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Fine, let's do it right now. <laughs> okay, change of plan. The tide is on its way out right now. Uh, so, literally, we got here 10 minutes ago. The ship is now much more visible than it was. So, we're thinking by the time we get down to that beach, we might be alright. We might see it. I think we might do. We will see. I mean, it's a long way down, so this is going to be a well, fun as walk. As long as you know, we can see a bit of the boat. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's what we want, right? Let's do this extremely long <laughs> walk down the cliff and then regret it when we're down the bottom and we got to get up. We're going to see a boat. <laughs> That's the spirit. It's getting more visible. I think it was a good decision. Yeah, smart. I am smart. All right, carry on the walk. Yes. Just gonna go through this tunnel. I don't know how I feel about that. You don't like the tunnel? No. Look how far we've come. We may as well do it. Oh 
we go. I don't know, I'm just having a picture of me. Oh, over Langston. Oh, it's a searchlight emplacement, that's what this is. What's that? For, well, you know, a searchlight to see what's going on. Ah. That's really interesting. Too bad we can't go in. Dangerous. What is this footpath? So here we are guys in Langdon Bay. That walk was not easy. You had vouch for that, right? Yes, it's very rocky. You had oh. that to get down, which is extremely steep. Uh, tunnels to go through and the path was very uneven and uh, not very well marked out. I feel like not many people make it down here, but we have made it. And now, sort of regretting the fact that we've got to walk back up there. But... This is a very straight Oh, it's weird. Oh, be careful. The rocks are all over the place. But we can see the ship. And let's go have a look. See what we see. So the SS Falcon was a steamer that was carrying hemp and matches which caught fire in 1926. And that is the story as to why that ship is down there. What's your review then, Ellie? I think this is really cool. A lot of people should come here. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to get down, but yes. it's, it's cool. If you are the adventurous type. Yes. This is the spot. It is very much in view now. It probably does get in view even more, but we want to try and get over there to Dover before it gets dark. And because it's December, it's dark by 4 p.m. So we currently have four hours of daylight left. To see what else we find. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Right. So we have the long walk back up now. I have there. you to thank for that. Well, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> uh, but yes, and then I'll see you in Dover. So here we are now in Dover. Well, that is Dover. Just behind me that we're going to get a great view once we emerge at the top of this hill we are climbing right now. Yeah. Because we haven't had enough hill. Yes, <laughs> we haven't had enough going up and down. It's been a very hiking field day today. But yes, what we are heading to is Western Heights, which is owned by English Heritage. Completely free entry. And I'll film more once we get up to the top. Here we are now inside the fortifications at Western Heights. It's very, very spooky, I'm gonna be honest, especially because we're losing the light and a thick fog has come down. It's sort of lifted a little bit now, but it's so eerily quiet around here as well, except for the sound of Ellie's shoes. They are not that loud. Plans were first drawn up to fortify these hills when the war broke out with France in 1778. And apparently on a clear day, um, from here you can see, well obviously all over Dover and uh, even see silhouette of France as well. So work was carried on here until the outbreak of the Napoleonic Wars in 1793. But then these have been reused during the World Wars and the area was finally abandoned between the years of 1954 and 1961. And then it was picked up by English Heritage, and that is how we see it today in this epic abandoned state. It's just an amazing place to see. Can you even peek here? I feel like I can't. <laughs> Boy, Barely. it's going even narrower. Oh no. And lower. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, good view. So 
here are now with some spectacular views overlooking the port of Dover. The town of Dover is just over that hill over there. Um, when we were walking around on the White Cliffs of Dover this morning, we were actually the other side of Dover. Now we're on this side. Um, and I was just thinking, it's absolutely great to see this entire area is littered with so much quite modern history really, because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that we love hiking around castles, exploring things like that, but it's really great to see some history that is not from like the 1100s, 1200s, and see yes. some uh, modern World War II history such as this. It's, it's really creepy. interesting. It's no, very creepy it's in very the fog. Creepy. We are losing the light. So now yes. what we're going to do is going to head back down to Dover, down the hill again. You'll be happy about food. that. Get some food. I'm Let's hungry. go. Even this is a bit too small for you. Yeah, I know. Look, if I'm standing, <laughs> go it's going to get my head cut off. <laughs> off with her head. So here we are now in the Dover Museum, uh, which is totally free entry by the way, and uh, located right in the centre of Dover. Very interesting, there's an exhibition going on about uh, Dover and Dunkirk, um, which is really interesting to learn about. So yeah, let's uh, explore around the museum. Please do not climb on the bump, Kelly. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> this museum is so interesting for our fruit museum. You know, it's like we've just seen the Bronze Age boat gallery, which is amazing, and now we've got the history uh, going all through Stonehenge and everything like that, which I do have a video on if you are interested. But yeah, totally recommend this museum for a free museum. It's just incredible. So much, so much going on, and it's massive as well. I was thinking I'll come in here, spend. 20 minutes walking around, but no, here we are, like almost an hour later. And so that ends our first day. We're now back at our base of operations, uh, ready for tomorrow. Well, sort of, after a night's sleep because it was very full on day today. Ellie will account for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of hiking, um, but everything was so good. Langdon Bay was just amazing uh, with the shipwreck and the Western Heights. I wish we could have spent more time there, but we were losing the light. But it was so good and some incredible views, especially if there is not tons of low cloud like there was today. But yeah, really great day. And yeah, on to tomorrow. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to our second day. It is early in the morning now and we've gone on a little morning walk into St. Margaret's itself, which is just a small walk up from Dover. And here we are now in Pines Garden, which is a really nice just small garden to have a look around, um, explore, and it's located next to this place, which we just had, no exaggeration, one of the best scones, or scones, however you choose to say it, um, that we've ever had, I think. You think, Ellie? Yes. Was it good? It was very good, very good scones, very big as well. There's people judging you doing it the wrong way. I don't even know which one is the correct way. I'm just doing whatever feels right. And then we got this abomination. That one? <laughs> That's definitely the correct way to eat your <laughs> Yeah, when people say you gotta put the cream or the jam first, how about you put both in multiple layers? <laughs> They're massive. So we could have shared one, but no, we wanted one each. <laughs> now and we're now regretting we're too full. <laughs> At least we have a. Uh, half hour walk to get back where we can burn off those scones but honestly it was such a great uh, place and yes now we're just exploring the Pines Garden which is located opposite it's completely free there's also a small museum here uh, called St Margaret's Museum uh, that you can have a look around if you would like so now we're going to head down to St Margaret's Beach itself to see another uh, beach see another beach because it is December and who doesn't love a beach in December yes um, and we'll see maybe get another view of the White Cliffs uh, further down from where we were yesterday so uh, let's go Come here, it looks, it's uh, I think it's another tunnel. Oh. But except, I mean, Maybe it goes up to that window or something. Yeah, maybe. So we are finding yet more interesting finds today. As I say, 
They are littered everywhere. Under here, I was thinking, this looks a little bit man-made. Um, and there is an entrance to what looks like a tunnel. It's been bricked up now. But then over here, you should probably see just there is uh, not really sure what it is to be honest. If anyone does know, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, but I assume maybe these link together. It goes through the cliff here. But yeah, just so interesting things everywhere. And um, on another note, this is uh, Ellie. And this is St. Margaret's Bay that Ellie is on. Yes. Um, looks interesting. <laughs> it doesn't focus on me. No. Look, I can focus on myself. <laughs> there I am. So this is St. Margaret's Bay and this is where uh, we will leave this video as we have seen a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some inspiration. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe. Uh, it really means a lot and it really helps me out. And uh, yes, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.